Previously on The Lair. It is a curse, but what a lovely curse. To be young forever. It's a fool's folly, my friend. And one that I'm certain is going to bring about his downfall. We have to hunt outside the lair. No one's been here for over 50 years. Hello? Who was that? It was Colin. And he's coming back. Is it Damien? You have to ask. Tom, I love you. And I know you love me. But I have to survive. I have to feed. Loving you is killing me. You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago. He told me he was desperate once, too. Is this your notice, Tim? I gotta warn you. A lot of strange stuff goes down around here. Luckily, I'm a fan of the strange and unusual. I'd require privacy for my research. How soon can you move in? Tonight. When I was younger, I was in an accident and my eyes were damaged. What the hell is this? should be booked as evidence. What's it doing in the morning? It's not that simple. Strangest thing I ever seen, Sheriff. Nothing too strange as far as I can see. Well, you've got a solid stone statue of a man that matches the bartender's description of one of his regular customers, who just happens to also be the owner of the abandoned car this was found in. So what? The guy made a statue of himself. I mean, it's a little weird, but it's, it's no big deal. A statue of himself in the nude? With an expression of total horror on his face? Well, who am I to judge? He's a weird guy. My boys haven't located him yet, but when we do, it'll explain itself. So, uh, is it a statue or isn't it? Look at this. A stone arm. Perhaps the work of an artist? Definitely. And you say it broke off the statue when you opened the car door? Yeah, the fingers were stuck in the door handle. Like it was trying to get out of the car? <laughs> Very funny. So there's no doubt. What are you driving at, Doc? If this is a statue, then why does the broken surface reveal all the details of the blood vessels, muscles, tendons, even the bones one would find inside a real arm? I chipped a piece off the upper body and it's the same thing. In fact, I bet if I cut this statue in half, it would have all the internal organs, skeleton, everything inside. How can an artist create a work like that? He can't. A gay vampire sex club after sunrise is the loneliest place on earth. Is everything a joke deal? <laughs> I do see the little ironies of the afterlife. Thanks. Don't they always serve you a shot after you give it the blood bank? Oh, I gotta get out of here. What's stopping you? I want to be with Damien, but I need time to think, and I just can't do that here. Why? It's nice and quiet. It's a crypt. What's there to think about anyway? I don't know if I'm here because I want to be or he wants me to be. You think he's still controlling you? I know he says he's not, but I have my doubts. And you can't.
can't build a relationship without trust. And you don't trust him? How can I after all I've been through? Well, it's obvious he's really into you. But do I feel the same or do I just think I do because he wants me to? Mm. That's a toughie. Is he here? He's around. <laughs> Some things you just have to learn the hard way. What the hell is this? Go. The hell are you doing? Tom, I know you may find it difficult to understand, but I'm doing this for you. For me? You said it yourself. What I was doing was killing you. You were wasting away. I couldn't bear it. What else could I do? This is your solution? This is your answer to the problem? <sighs> Maybe not the answer, but it is an answer. What other choice did I have? I don't know, but I cannot live like this. What are you saying, Tom? We're through. I need to get out of here. I need to get my life back. I need to know you're not manipulating me. I thought I told you that that was not the case. But do I believe you? I thought you did. I don't know. Did Frankie put you up to this? No. I just have to figure out my true feelings. How do you plan to do that? I'm going home. My home. I need to think this through. If I come back, it'll be of my own free will. I wouldn't want it any other way. I want you, Tom, but I want the real you. I don't want some puppet. You have to believe that. Just, just give me time to work it out, okay? How much time? I'll let you know. All right. I won't stop you. So that's it? I'd like you to keep a close eye on him. Let me know what he's up to. With all due respect, I really don't take orders from anybody anymore. If you still want that burial you keep moaning about, you'll do as I say. As I ask. All right. 
but only because I like Tom. I want to make sure nothing bad happens to him. Ooh, you wound me with your insinuations. Deal with it. Do you think he'll ever come back? No. Yes, Colin. I'm ready if you are. Sure, I can do that. Just tell me. Okay, I'll be there. Have you lost your mind? It's Colin. He won't leave me alone. It's not Colin. Colin's dead. Do you understand me? He's nothing but dust. I know. And he's very unhappy about it. Now, do you think you might have something more constructive to do? I have some errands I could run. I think it'd be wise if you did just that. And don't let me catch you doing anything like this again, or there will be consequences. I'm ready, Colin. I'm ready now. Morning. Good morning, Tim. I brought you some breakfast. It's really unnecessary. I'm not paying for that kind of service. Trust me, it won't become a habit. I was making some for myself, and there was enough for two. That's very thoughtful, Tim. Oscar Wilde, huh? Looks old. It's a first edition. Oh, sorry. Must be really valuable. Irreplaceable. Thank you for breakfast, Tim. Yeah, no problem. Let me know if you need anything. sandwich too. Rare. You got it. Damn! Dude, you look like you just saw a ghost. What are you doing here? Did Damien send you to follow me? Oh, hell no. Well, he wanted me to, but I'm trying to do you a favor. What can you do for me? Guess you haven't been keeping up with the news since you quit your job at the paper, huh? Right here. There's this new book that just came out about the island based on some old documents and maps they just dug up. It's pretty interesting stuff. Well, that must be a great romance novel for you, but what's that got to do with me? Listen to me, Tom. What you need is an equalizer, something that puts you and Damien on a level playing field, something that keeps him from exerting any of his power that he has over you. Then you'll know where your heart truly lies. And this book can do all that? Well, no, but there's this whole chapter about this ancient ring that's buried somewhere here on the island that protects against all forms of magic. Might come in handy, don't you think? <laughs> Leave it protects against vampire love spells. Now you're talking. <laughs> uh, the author lives nearby. He runs an antiquarian bookshop over on Front Street. How do you know all this? It says so. Right here. Might be worth stopping by and picking up a copy. All right, so why are you helping me? Do you want me to find your body and rebury it so you can move on or something? Actually, I've been rethinking that, and I've changed my mind. For now. Why? Do you know what real death is, Tom? I mean, real death. Total death. No screwing around death. Well, I don't. I'm afraid to find out. I mean, what if there's nothing there? What if it's just emptiness? Maybe this problem I have is a blessing in disguise. Better a ghost than toast, I guess, huh? Maybe. And besides... Who's that? New guy. <laughs> Met him last week. Boating accident. Oh. Never found the body, huh? Yep. <laughs> We're an item. <laughs> He's hot. Lucky you. I know, right? <laughs> well, I better go. Don't want to keep him waiting. Oh, good luck. And thanks for the tip.
Here you go. Thanks. <clears throat> Men, you've got to stop talking to yourself. You're scaring the other customers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You with Colin? Oh yeah. You got the stuff? Good. Let's roll. Bodies turned to stone. Oh. Nice hair. In Greek mythology, the three Gorgon sisters were guardians of the underworld with hair of living snakes. A single look from them would turn their victim's body into solid stone. Blood taken from the left side of the Gorgon would bring the dead back to life. Blood from the right side is fatal poison. Well, that was easy enough. Mystery solved. What a bunch of bullshit. Have you seen Richie? No. Well, if you do, send him my way. Sure thing, baby. Excuse me. Yes? I couldn't help hearing. Are you Damien Courtenay? That's right. I've been waiting to meet you. My name's Tad. I represent Frau von Hess. She's very interested in what you've done here and has a business proposition for you. Frau von Hess. Never heard of her. But she has heard of you? Well, Tad, I'm a very busy man. I'm not sure if this is something I would be, could be, interested in. You should at least hear me out. Frau von Hess is in a position to do a great deal of good. It'll only take a few minutes. Well, since you've gone to the trouble of locating me, let's have a seat, and you can fill me in on the details. Thank you. I'm sure you won't regret this. Right this way. All right, Tad. You have my full attention. Now what can I do for you? It's what Frau von Hess can do for you that I'd like to talk about. Okay, let's start there. Frau von Hess is involved in investment, capital, and property development. It's made her one of the wealthiest women in all of Europe. She'd like to talk to you about the possible expansion of your enterprise. And why me? We're looking to a variety of investment opportunities on the island, and Frau von Hess was especially impressed with the reputation of the lair. We're most interested in tapping into the tourist trade since they're building the new cruise ship dock in the South End. We all love making money, Mr. Courtenay. Wouldn't you agree? Business is business, and I'm not opposed to hearing you out. A different club for a different clientele might be an excellent idea. I've been wanting to expand on what we've been doing, and maybe the time is now. I'd like to meet this Frau von Hess. Can you arrange that? That may prove difficult. Frau von Hess is very reclusive. She does all of her business by proxy. That's where I come in. Well, you'll let me know. She'll be arriving on the island in the coming days. I'm sure we can set something up. What? Your hand, it's... It's very cold. Well, you know what they say. Cold hands, warm heart. Good evening, Ted. Mr. Courtenay. Not bad. 
It's perfect. It looks just like you. Okay. It's pretty good. Except one thing. What? I don't smile like that. I never smile like that. See, that's where you're wrong. This is the way you look on the inside. This is the face that nobody else ever gets to see but me. Yeah, you don't see it either. Well, maybe not for real. But I see it in here. <laughs> don't you have some studying to do? I'd really hate to see you flunk that GED test. Don't panic, Sheriff. I got it all covered. All covered. Grab him. Look, he's not gonna lift himself out of there. Either give me a hand, or I'm gonna use you instead. You sure you got him all in here? Doesn't look like much. There wasn't much left of him. Guess I'll have to do. You have to kill him? Stop. Plain. Dumb. You know what has to happen. Don't worry. Colin's got a special place for you in his new posse. You won't have to worry about Damien anymore. Besides, what choice do you have? Nothing personal. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna be sick. Bushes are over there. so long. <laughs> Next time on The Lair. The Lair's become a graveyard. So we find a new place? I think maybe it's time to do things my way. Is the owner of the shop around? I hear you wrote the book. You're looking at him. Harris Philip Chichester. Just wear the ring and no magic can touch me. Just like just like that. What little bit of forensic work we were able to do did turn up one more mystery. That statue has fingerprints. Your tattoo is very interesting. Do you mind? No. I'm Damien. Ethan. <laughs>